All right, guys, let's talk about bedroom hygiene for when you're about to go to bed and when you lay down to close your eyes and go to sleep. Phones, all phones should be in airplane mode. If you wanna learn more about EMF radiation, you can look it up, warrioradvantage.com. Blackout curtains, you want the room to be as black, as dark as possible when you're going to sleep. Any LED lights that are flashing that are on, try to get rid of any of those or tape over them with black electrical tape if you can do so. And we will take a little tour here. And of course it is nighttime, so I'm wearing my glasses again. We'll, we'll take a look at what I've done in my room and give you guys some ideas for what you can do. All right, let's do a quick tour. I know it's a little dark, it is nighttime. And I don't have a lot of lights in here and you're about to see why. Okay, so these are blackout curtains or blackout shades. Um, it is really challenging to find blackout shades that actually black out the room. And you can see, I take this mirror that my wife will use during the day and I lean it up against the blackout shades to make it even blacker because I do get light kind of sneaking around the sides of these blackout curtains. Okay, and we've got, if you'll notice, I'm gonna take a quick sweep here. You will not see any alarm clocks. I haven't had to wake up to uh, an alarm clock in over six years. There's no LED lights. There's no little blinking lights. Again, you know, I've got this light on so we can actually see what we're doing, but um, I do have a smoke alarm in here and you'll notice it's got black electrical tape right over that LED light so it doesn't blink green or blue during the night. And as we come over here, this is uh, the, the night lamp. And you'll notice that's it's actually bright red. So if I'm gonna sit down and, and lay down and read a book before bed, I put in a red LED bulb into this uh, bedside lamp. So I would turn out this light that's on right now um, that's keeping the room lit and only turn on this red red light to read before bed. And again, red light does not, red or amber light does not uh, mess with your melatonin. And so that's why I've installed a red LED. And over on uh, the other side of the bed, there's another LED lamp over there. These lamps are, or the, the bulbs, I don't know, $5 on Amazon and they come in uh, multiple colors and you can actually, the ones we have change colors. So we have a little remote and the remote will change the color to any color you want. We just have it set on red, obviously, uh, not to mess with the melatonin at night. Um, but again, you know, if I have my phone, it'll sit right here on the nightstand. It'll be turned on to airplane mode all night. And if I need to use an alarm, I'll use it just on my phone. Otherwise, you know, everything is shut off here and this room gets very dark. And that's how we do it in this room. Now in the kids' room, we do the same thing. We've got the, the blackout shades and these curtains that help keep it even darker. And so at night for these guys, they also get a red light. So we have, we keep it fairly covered, but this salt rock lamp with a red LED light placed into it. And then again, same thing, they get a red, a, a red LED light for night if they need it. Um, but this night light usually stays on. So our night light uh, also being red um, helps with the kids' room so they can have a light on if they need it, but it does not uh, mess with the melatonin production so they can get better sleep. They do have a clock, so our kids tend to get up really, really early. And if they don't know what time it is, they get up way too early and wake us up. So this is a you know orange red LED so they can have an alarm clock uh, with a, a light source, the right type of colored light, not to, uh, again, change any melatonin production. So that's how we do it here. And we also have a red night light in the bathroom if we need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So hope you guys get some value from that later.